Hello and welcome to Falcon Fever. I'm Devin Cooley. Montevallo's inaugural softball season is in full swing. After months of preparation, the team finally took the field for their opening weekend doubleheader in February. I had behind the scenes access to see how the team earned their spot in school history. Take a look. It was definitely different from any of the recruiting experiences I've had before. Um, there wasn't really anything set in stone, but I thought it was a really cool idea that we were all going to get to come in and make a whole program of our own and not have to do what everybody else used to do. Like, this is going to be our thing, and I thought that was awesome. I was really determined to leave a mark however I can, experience whatever I could, and so the opportunity to make history somewhere and be the first to do something that's an opportunity that comes very rarely so to be able to have that option i jumped at it i think it's kind of amazing there's not too many teams anymore that are first teams and we get to say that we were the first team on this field it was fun it was different it was really cool getting to come and experience camp and meet girls who we we're going to be playing with and meeting our coach and it was just really about committing to her and the team. Definitely crazy and hectic, but that, I mean, you never know what to expect coming on a new team no matter what. But being a part of this team, this brand new first year has been incredible. It's been an amazing experience that I'll live on for, like take with me for the rest of my life. You know, it's been hectic and crazy and stressful, but like, you can't help but love these girls and love these, this team. Um, I have enjoyed every minute of it. I think it's really cool just bringing a lot of different environments together because obviously we're all from different um, backgrounds and different ways of playing the game. And to be a part of this team and grow together and experience this together has truly just been an experience that you really just can't explain. I think it was maybe a bit of a process at first, but I definitely think that we've come over a bit of a hump and we've come together and we've found a mutual respect for each other and just a love for the game and we all have the same goals, so we're all fighting together in this now. Definitely different. We It took a while to get used to um, playing with each other for the first time in the fall. We struggled a little bit, but I think we're ready. Um, at first we were all really shy, we come from all over different parts of the U.S., so we were all very different, but we had the same goal, so we pulled together pretty easily, and now we're a family. By spending time together, we spend the majority of our time with each other, and it's really helped us all develop relationships. I've met people from California, Texas, people I'd never meet before in my entire life, and it's really awesome that we have this environment where we can all come together and meet each other. Um, I have never had a head coach. I think that is as well spirited as she is. She keeps us up, she's upbeat, she doesn't get down too often and when she does it's not in a way that we feel like she's overbearing us. She picks us up on our worst days and we know that we can pick her up on her worst days as well. We have an open door policy here and we're all very comfortable with that and it's great to have a coach that we can talk to about anything. I love Coach Vanover. Co Coach Vanover is like a mom away from home. She keeps me in check. She just protects us. I love her. Coach Peterson. I love Coach Peterson. She's kind of like a sister to us all. Um, she's a little bit closer to our age. We can relate to her, although sometimes you can't tell if she's being sarcastic or serious, but I love her too. Um, I love the staff. I think they put forth their best effort for us and then we get it done. Sometimes it's they're demanding, but that's what it takes for us to come out here and compete, so I like it. I love our coaching staff. They care about us individually every single day, and they work our hardest. Um, they expect us to work hard no matter what, but they will give us everything, every inch that we like go. Like They go the mile for us every single day, and that's what matters. She expects a lot out of us, but only because we can do it. Like She's very 
Um, she pushes us really hard, but that's a great thing as an athlete to have somebody that cares enough to do that. Definitely college practices are more high intensity. We do not stop every day, six days a week. It's intense. It's a day-by-day -day thing, you know. Definitely sometimes we have tougher practices than others. Um, hitting is definitely sometimes like sometimes you're just focusing on one thing so it's not going to be that hard. Mentally you're going to go home and like it's very hard, you know, because you're stressing and you're trying to focus every single day, but sometimes you're going to go home like you're battered and bruised and you've just like bathed in the dirt, you know, like it's a day by day thing, but it's definitely not easy. Definitely. Like you do your drill, the coach will stop the drill just to tell you and help you to explain that you need to do things a different way and help you with the right techniques. It's really um, hands-on learning experience and it's really awesome. Honestly, in some ways, I mean, it's the first game so you have to be kind of nervous, but we're just going to go out there and play our hardest, you know, it's just another game and that's all we think, you know. Um, from Coming from our perspective, we just have to play our hardest, but like nervous, yes, of course. Always. Very. I was thinking about it last night. I feel like even at my Juco, I was nervous about every game, but this one especially is because there's people expect so much from us and we've put so much into this that we want to do well. Um, I am just really excited about it. I think nerves do take a little bit in it, but um, just to know that the Montevallo community has been outpouring support for us and our families and we have each other's back ultimately. Our coaches have prepared us, we've worked hard for the time and um, we're just ready to show everybody what we're made of. Honestly, I, I knew there were going to be a lot of people, but I didn't know there was going to be that many people. They said there was only 1,500 people. You see in the outfield, they're all behind the fence. Baseball players are on the fence. Parents are on the sidelines. It was just amazing. The atmosphere was amazing. It was, I played a lot of softball my entire life, and to look up and see that many people here and supporting you was the best feeling in the world. I felt like we could have lost and still felt like we won at the same time. It was really nice um, to know that everyone had support, like people came all the way from California and Washington and even Texas, so that was really cool. Honestly, it's amazing. Just everyone was like, oh, when's the softball game? What time is it? Oh, we're going to come and support. And honestly, they really delivered. Being the first at batter, you have everyone in the stands, but it's more of just block everything out and you just do the game that you've grown up loving, grown up playing, so even though you have all that pressure, there's really nothing to really worry about. Everyone was pumped up. Um, we, would come in, we would be coming back in the game and then everyone's just like want to jump over the little railing there with excitement. So everyone was pumped. Our voices heard at the end of the day, so it was worth it. It was everyone's effort. Like Phoebe had the first hit, but it was so much, it was a relief to have the first score to begin the season just like that. I felt like we were all there. Everyone had each other's back. Everyone was cheering. It didn't matter if you made an error, if you missed a signal. We just all, that one game, or the first two games, we just all came together like we'd been playing for years. I like didn't have one any better way. Um, I was really pumped because I knew my parents were in the stand and that everybody behind me was there to support me and so I knew I had what I needed what I needed to do and I knew that if anything went wrong that my teammates had my back.
And when I looked up and realized that there was one out, and I saw the runners on base, we were down, and then I don't remember who was in front of me, but they got out. And I had not got one hit, but I had been making contact, so I wasn't as nervous. And I've been in a situation like that before, so I felt like I could do it. And when I watched the first pitch, I realized I should have swung, and after that, I don't really remember what happened. I just swung, and then the game was over. <laughs> It was very close. I was nervous and there was one out and I was up on, on deck and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what's gonna happen. And then Sydney hit that double and it was amazing. I think I was still in shock that it happened. I realized we won, but it didn't hit me until like I saw my mom come out into the dugout and started crying. And I was like, why is she crying? And I was, then it hit me like that was a record. Like I will forever be known as someone who did that. And in the moment it was just, a normal game we won, but after everyone calmed down, it, then it hit me. So it was just an experience that I can't explain. Like, you have to have done it to know what it's like. I actually didn't know where the ball went. I kind of just started running, and then I heard the whole stand start screaming, and then my coach was like, Oh my God, so I just kept running. <laughs> I was like, that didn't just happen. <laughs> I didn't, I mean, I didn't expect it out of me, to be honest. It's actually really exciting, and it was like at that I actually got to make history with the, with the team and everything, and it actually helped pull my team through to win the end of the game. In the beginning, we were doing really good and we were really up ahead and then they got back, but I knew my team would fight and we would come back and even though it was close at the end, I wasn't worried that we weren't going to win. Proud of you, you worked hard. It was a long awaited eight, nine months, however yeah. long we've been here recruiting you, practicing, and it was fun to see you succeed and have a great time. Winning is fun and hard work makes it be easier to win and have more fun. So I need you to go to the grind every week, understanding we have a plan behind all the tough days, all the demands that we give on you. It's for a purpose to make you better. We have never played together, never had a program where we just beat someone that has been in existence for quite some time, okay? I challenge you that this can't be as good as we play. We still had a lot of mistakes, but we did some amazing things today. That's, oh my. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> you are. <laughs> you owe me big time. Holy cow. <laughs> what other questions, or was that all fake? Y'all suck. All right, love you all. Good night. Sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I forgot about you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This took every single person. Not one person is ever going to win us a game. So know that we have to stay together and every single game we have to have each other's backs like this or it's not going to work.
Okay, so what you guys did today was awesome. We'll keep that rolling. Let's go to the next week. Loud and proud. Have a great night. To keep up with the team's progress this season, follow them on social media. On Facebook, search for the University of Montevallo softball page. On Twitter, search for at Montevallo SB, and then search for Montevallo softball on Instagram. And as always, we'll keep you updated on our sites as well. Just search for at UM Falcon Fever. That's all for this episode. I'm Devin Cooley, and thanks so much for watching.